folks. Welcome to Winning on Wednesday. My name is Juan Vitas, and I'm the founder of Winning on Wednesday. Winning on Wednesday is a platform that meets every Wednesday at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And the purpose is to build meaningful relationships and expand your network and grow and promote your brand. We always encourage the building of relationships before doing business. As I often say, people do business who they know, like, and trust. And today, uh, I have the pleasure of introducing Jan Herstein. Jan, how are you today? I'm good, Juan. I, I want to thank you for uh, allowing me to have this opportunity to meet with you and to talk with you. Thank you. So tell us quickly about yourself. Okay. Well, uh, basically, I've, I've been in the, the payroll industry for uh, 37 years. I've, uh, I live here in, uh, in Oceanside in Nassau County. And uh, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a fun ride this, this time, basically. I, I, uh, um, we, we, do, we do payroll and, and HR for uh, small to mid-sized companies. And um, we've been very successful over the last 17 years and uh, very happy to be there. All right. So tell us where we goal got started. Tell us where it all began. Where 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 were you born? Where you just got started? Long time ago. I don't know if I remember. But no, <laughs> actually, actually, it was uh, it was uh, many years ago. I lived in Brooklyn as a kid, Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, and I uh, started out uh, actually making newspapers on Sunday and uh, uh, delivering meat to a from a butcher and uh, uh, a lot of fun times in uh, in uh, Bensonhurst and about 15 or 16 my parents moved out to Long Island and uh, since I had nowhere to live I had to go with them and so I, I did and uh, it's, been, yeah. it's been great living out here met my wife in in Oceanside and uh, it's been my life and I, I not to be biased Oceanside is a great town I live there that's my hometown so you know <laughs> we lived there for 15 years so I enjoy living here in Oceanside um Great town. Uh, the other thing is, uh, uh, tell us, so what did you have any ideas when you wanted to become professionally when you were younger? Because, you know, all of us have different old ideas, aspirations, you know, so people want to be astronauts, baseball players. What did you have any, uh, what was your? Uh, somebody must have said that I had a good, uh, good voice. And uh, even though, it, you know, that little bit of Brooklyn kind of bleeds through. But uh, uh, from that, I wanted to become uh, an announcer. And uh, when I was in um, junior high and high school, I used to do the public address for the, the basketball teams. And, you know, you look up to people like uh, Marv Albert and uh, Howard Cosell. And, oh, yeah. you, you know, you say to yourself, oh, I'd, I'd love to do this. Uh, and so uh, basically that's what I followed early on when I went to college. Oh, wow. And uh, that's what you majored in, right? The, that's yeah, what I, mean, I, I, I was a communications major, speech and communications. And uh, as a matter of fact, my uh, my grandfather at the time, when I told him that's what I wanted to do, he said, "Why are you going to college? You're you're wasting your time. You know what? what why why is that important?" And and uh, I said, "You know that's what I want to do, but uh, it it never it never came to be." Do you have any hobbies or any interests during that time when you were uh, you know a kid in high school or college or whatever? Well, believe it or not, I like old time music, and so. Okay. I, I I started uh, singing, uh, and and to this day I still do, um, um, you know, the retirement communities and the assisted living communities. Oh and, wow! Yeah, I do a That's lot of. That's nice. Yeah, it's it's fun. You know, you you, you bring joy to those people because it's uh, they need it. You know, because it's uh, they reminisce of good times, and uh, it's nice to, to wow. That's really nice of you that you do that. That's you know, very it's, kind. So funny. it's funny you say that because. Um, when I, you know, somebody came up to me once and said, you know, Jan, this is really wonderful that you do. These people really enjoy what you do. And I didn't think of it like that. One, I, I said, you know, I thought I was doing it because I like doing it. But but as a byproduct, I'm making people happy and they're enjoying and they're remembering. And uh, it's it's nice to know that what and, you're doing makes people feel good. And it's good because you're putting that energy out there. It's a positive energy that, it, it you know, affects us all. So thank you for doing that. You know, that's really nice. Um, tell us about your first job out of your college. So you, you majored in communications that you said, right. And then, um, you, what was your first job out My of first college? Job was actually, I think it was while I was in college and even a little bit before, uh, I worked for a company that, uh, they sold uh, magazine subscriptions to the public and I was what was called the closer. I would go there and I would, you know, explain to them what they'd be getting, what they're paying. 
uh, I'd pick up a deposit and have them sign for it and that basically tighten up the, the, the deal. And uh, that, that was my first job. And that's that's how I got started in sales. Wow. And uh, tell us about uh, about how that journey from doing sales and doing what you're doing now. Uh, can you go through that whole journey and tell us about that? Well, wh- while I was while I was doing that, uh, my friend's father had a relationship with uh, ADP. And he thought I'd be perfect working uh, in that kind of environment. And so he had got me an interview. I wound up going there. I I got the job and uh, uh, I've been in the payroll industry now for, for 37 years, believe it or not. Wow. That's a very years. long time. That's a very long time. Long time to do anything, Juan. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure, I mean, that's, uh, you learned a lot uh, throughout the time. And so, you know, at, at this time, I like to uh, talk about the golden nugget uh, time, which uh, it's a valuable piece of information. They would like to leave out. You mean, no, not no I'm sorry. You know, no, 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 not the, not the golden nugget, not the casino, no, not the casino, no. <laughs> okay. No, this is, actually, this is better more. This is more better than, it's worth more, actually, than the casino because it's, it's valuable information that is going to live here on forever on, on the internet. So, you know, for the folks out there, is there anything that you want to leave behind that would make them a better business person, better their careers? And at your point, you had a, a phenomenal career. You know, what made you better? What sorts of a piece of advice you could leave behind uh, and you want to, you know, Give us some example of that. In in whatever business you're in, you're, you're dealing with 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 the public, and you're dealing with what's called what's called a client. And I, I think it's the one thing that people, if they can remember this, um, that they're not just working for the company; they're working for the client as well. If they can have a nice mix where they're both working for, in their mind, they're working for the client and the company, they're going to be successful. I mean, I had a, a guy just to give you a, a little story. A, a guy was going to give me uh, his car wash and he wound up giving me a, he was going to give me a second car, but he wanted to see how I did first. So uh, he calls me a week after the first car wash is set up and he, and he says, uh, Jan, I have a question for you. It was like 7.30 at night on a Wednesday. And I pulled over, I, I answered his question. He said, thank you. Called me the next day and he said, Jan, I want you to do my other car wash as well. I said, I thought you wanted me to to see how I did first. He says, you know what? I called you uh, two and a half hours after business day was over. You gave me the answer in five minutes that I needed. I've been trying to call my company right now and I still can't get the answer to my question after being on the phone for half an hour. He says, that's the kind of person and the kind of company I want to deal with. And so that's what I, that's what I would, if I could give a little bit of a a golden nugget to somebody, uh, I would tell them, make sure you work for the client, as well as the company. Wow. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, you have had a phenomenal career, 37 years. And I mean, I mean, that's something w- that you've learned from all these companies that you've had, you know? Well, you know what? I, I always, people say to me, what's the difference between this company you work for and this other company you work for? And I, I, I said, look, I don't mean to you know pat myself on the back, but sometimes the difference is me, you know, working with me and having me there. To, to watch over you, to guide you. If you have a question, my cell phone is always on. If somebody needs to talk to me at seven at night, eight at night, on Sunday at 11, I'm there. And and I've proven it to many people. The, the problem is you, you can't prove it until they become a client of yours. And then you wind up being able to say that what you said was true. But that's the way I, I maybe it's old school one, but that's the way I conduct my business. And uh, well, you Going that extra mile. And that's yes. great for the customers. And that what makes you a sip. It's like I always say, if you sell vanilla ice cream, right? if everybody sells vanilla ice cream, what makes you different? You know, but if you go the extra services, it's, it's always that customer service is always the details. It's always the things that makes it to your point, make you accessible. And that's mm-hmm. great customer service. And people will rely on that and depend on that, especially for businesses as well. Yeah. You know, in the payroll industry, people think it's selling checks and reports and quarterlies and numbers. It's crunching numbers. It's not anybody can write a you could write anybody can write a check. It's it's the service that they get. It's knowing that when somebody is needed, they they can be reached very quickly. They can get the answer to their question. I mean, I have accountants and they say to me, you know, Jan, can I have portal access so I can grab my reports? And I say, Yeah, sure. But you know what? If you're in a bind and you're in a hurry, call me. I'll get you the report in 10 minutes. Wow. You know, and it's uh 
you know, they appreciate that. They really do. Absolutely. Go the extra mile. That's great. That's awesome. And what about networking uh, groups or communities, organizations, or spheres of influences? Do you belong to any of these groups? Yes, I I belong to the Melville Chamber of Commerce, which is a huge organization. They're wonderful. I hear Uh, they do wonderful things. Yeah, they really do. And then there's a small uh, Wednesday morning uh, meeting that we have in Oceanside at IHOP called LMNO. And it's a group of about 10 to 12 people. And, uh, you know, we try to help one another. And one of my favorites is, wow, winning on okay. with one All right. <laughs> The check is going to be in the mail, Jan. Don't worry about it. So thank you for well, that. Uh, <laughs> I can pick it up. I don't trust you, Juan. No. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. But uh, what, so tell us about uh, Zuma. Tell us a little bit about Zuma. Tell us about the services. Tell us about what you guys do and the plans. Uh, yeah, tell the whole spiel. Zuma has been around for about 17 years, and they they are technologically um, cutting edge, cutting edge when it comes to the services they provide, the HR uh, abilities, uh, all, everything. But 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 again, when people ask me, what's the biggest difference between Zuma and some other companies out there? A lot of companies have cutting edge technology. We really customer service is key with us uh we train our people to make sure that everybody has their own dedicated rep um basically um you know we're, we're accessible we're easy to get to uh we answer your questions we're we're knowledgeable uh I, i'm not going to lie to you and tell you my company pays more money to these various reps than um a lot of other companies because they want the best and and they've gotten the best so uh, that that's why I, I never feel, uh, you know, when it comes to bringing somebody to Zuma, uh, you know, my wife's company uses them and, and uh, I don't, I have no reservation of bringing anybody over there because I know they're going to be taken care of between me, the independent, the, the um, dedicated rep and our service team. I know the experience is going to be a good one. Excellent. And if uh, people want to learn more about you, what's the best way to contact you? Well, there's a couple of ways you can call my cell. Can I get my cell number? Sure, right? go right ahead. Go ahead. It's gonna be public. Just gonna be public. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, my my cell is open to everyone. Okay. Uh, it's five one six nine four six two four seven zero. Um, you could also go to our website zoomapay.com. Uh, but yeah, but the easiest way to call me direct is through my cell five one six nine four six. 2470. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Jan. And if you'd like to be a member of Winning on Wednesday, please simply go to our website, winningonwednesday.com, and sign up in the first time guest. And we'll hope to see you next time. Thank you so much. And thank you, Jan, again. Thank you. I thank you again. Thank you. All right.